Detective. Oh, what on earth is that odor? Perhaps something has died in the walls, a mouse or a rat or something. Well, I don't think there's any perhaps about it. How can you stand it? William, you wanted to see me? Oh, my. I really must insist that you do something about whatever has died in your walls. Nothing has died. It's liver rotting. I've been conducting an experiment, and you're just in time. Dr. Ogden. Inspector, I was looking for Detective Murdoch. Detective Murdoch is conducting an investigation. So you're still here? Yes, but I'm not having any success. Oh. A kind, hearty half. A woman would run through fire and water for such a kind heart. Mary Wives of Windsor. Oh, I'm impressed. Inspector? Doctor? I have your head. Oh. <laughs> Gentlemen, what have we here? Uh, Detective Murdoch is just giving us a demonstration of an intriguing new device, a lie detector. How fascinating. Will you? Oh, Doctor. William, I have a... Mr. Doyle, what a lovely surprise. Dr. Ogden, enchanting as always. <laughs> Hi, lady. William, Inspector, may we have a word? Miss. Inspector, is Detective Murdoch here? I'm afraid not. Then I'll speak with you. William, I believe I have something that might interest you. The results came back on the soil we found in our victim's skull. Good evening, Constable. Oh, good evening, Dr. Ogden. You were working late this evening. As usual, I'm afraid. Detective Murdoch as well, I presume? Actually, he's gone out. Oh, I was hoping he could help me with something. You don't know where he is, do you? I'm sorry to interrupt you, Detective, but I must see you immediately on an extremely urgent matter. Yes, of course, Doctor. What is it? Yes. I'm sorry, William. I promised to exercise. Shall we start with this one? No, sir. Trust me, please. You need to give me the package. Look, I, I appreciate that very much, but I have explicit orders. Thank you. Constable, uh, who is that gentleman? Oh, uh, I'm interrupting. No, no, I was just leaving. Good day, Dr. Ogden. Good day, Mrs. Jones. Very good. I believe Dr. Ogden is here to consult on my test results. William, I've made an unusual discovery. Good evening, gentlemen. Detective, this is all the equipment you should need for testing toxins in the wine. Julia, have you ever played basketball? William, I just heard about Bobby Bracken and Is there something I can do? Yeah. Excuse me. Good day, Doctor. Anything to report? Ah, Doctor, what have you? I compared Miss Walker's wound with Count Leoline's, and I'm certain the same knife was used in both crimes. William. Ah, come in, come in. I see you've completed the mold. A man can't be in two places at once, Murdoch. So what's your theory now? Murdoch? Julia. William. I just heard what happened. Are you all right? I'm fine. Say goodbye. Hmm. Doctor. Constable? So, you discovered a murder took place on your model street after all. Yes, I've determined a murder weapon and a vague timeline, but no body. William, am I interrupting? Julia, of course not. How are you feeling, William? Somewhat more like myself. Julia. I hear you've solved your case. Thanks in large part to you, as per usual. Uh, yes, well. Julia. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I was in the area and thought I'd stop by. Sir, will do. Hello, William. 
I understand you've been to the future. Julia? Is everything all right? Yes, I just came by to tell you I've talked to my lawyer. William, I have to talk to you. Julia? What is it? I just met with Darcy. He's agreed to the annulment. We can be married? Yes, we can be married! <laughs> Julia. William, I thought you might be interested to know that Darcy and I are due to see the judge tomorrow. Julia. What is it? Gentlemen. Good morning, Doctor. You're having a busy week. First the Pastor Henshaw about her, and now another one. Julia, thank you for coming in. How could I not? A man claiming to be Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Gentlemen, I found the identity of your Sherlock. His name is David Kingsley. He was a patient of Dr. Roberts. Am I interrupting? Julia. Ah, oh, Dr. Ogden. Julia. Is it true that Cabbage Town is in danger? I wouldn't pay much attention to what the constables are saying. Hello, William. Julia. There's an emergency medical area just outside of the evacuation zone. They could use your help. George, have you made any inroads with the inmate files? I'm afraid I've been waylaid in my efforts. Julia. William, are you busy? William. Julia. My goodness, you look beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you, Detective. <laughs> Julia. Can you believe that of all the houses in Toronto, he chooses one of mere three blocks from me? What are you talking about? Inspector. Julia, thank you for coming. Doctor? Good day, Ben. Good day, Detective. Julia? Where is she? Waiting in my office. You forgot one name. Dr. Linden, he wants me out. Julia. Hello, William. Inspector. Doctor. Gentlemen, am I interrupting? Good morning, Doctor. Inspector. I'll leave you to it, Maddock. Keep me posted. Julia? How are you? William! Julia, what are you doing here so late? William. Julia? I thought I would see if you had time to step out for lunch. I believe I do. Gentlemen. I was just curious as to how our case was progressing. George, I'm looking for... Uh, doctor, I'm afraid the detective is very busy right now. Gentlemen. Julia. I found very few cases of people who have acted violently when overly stimulated by sound. <sighs> Gentlemen, I'd like to return to your city corner. Oh, that is very good news. Just my luck. Excuse me? Just as the most striking woman I've seen in all of Toronto enters the station, I'm leaving. Uh, oh, Julia! Margaret, how nice to see you. Thank you for coming in, Dr. Ogden. You wanted to speak to me? Yes, yes, I do. Please, have a seat. How long have they been in there? Not quite an hour. How are you, William? Good morning, Inspector. Thank you. Good morning, Doctor. Late night, I gather. Julia, what have you? Given the temperature and the state of rigor, Minister Fergus was killed between 9 and 10 o'clock last night. Sorry if I'm interrupting. It's quite all right, Julia. What is it? Pardon me, gentlemen. I have the test results from the gin bottle. Oh. William? Julia! I didn't realize it was so late. Ah, Dr. Ogden. We've been discussing the matter of your assistant. Please, have a seat. Inspector. Doctor, to what do I owe the pleasure? Mr. Richmond. Oh, I knew I hadn't heard the last of this. 